Gedola Yisrael come from different backgrounds, that's for sure. But many of them did go on the certain path, that a path that was of greatness that was laid out to them from their elders, parents, grandparents. Now we were Zalman, we would say it was more typical. His father, it says, used to say Tehillim for each and every one of his grandchildren. Im Shachar, early morning, he would say a Perik Tehillim for every child and grandchild. His mother, it seems, was a Malumedit. And uh, when the boys would come back from Yeshiva, one just asked them what their, how things were, but asked them what they learned exactly. You know, tell me, <laughs> tell me a Chiddush, tell me something that you learned. Um, we mentioned he was born in White Russia in 1880 or 1878. I see different numbers there. And there's a beautiful description how he describes the town of exactly where he was. Noladati Borussia Halavana. As I mentioned, he was a, himself was an amazing writer. Um, and he writes, I was born in White Russia, Plach Moilov. Moilov was a town, and a Plach, Plach Moilov. Now, this is where the north, which the north was the Talmud Hagra from Vilna, and the south, which is Talmud the Balshemtov, Nikshu the Milchemet Aruach. Plach Moilov was a place which was between the Graz Vilna Hashkafas and the Talmud Baal Shems, and there was a Milchemet Ruach, there was a a battle of spirit that went on in my town. Kasav Rabbeinu. Kinat Sofram Zu Ribte Chachma. As it says, Kinat Sofram, uh, the jealousy of wisdom makes more wisdom. Hamerkaz Bishklov Dog Lilima Torah. In Shklov, of course they were telling me they had Grav Yisrael Shklov or Menachem Mendel Shklov or the Merkaz of Shklog, Dugli Matora, Upatach Bechevel, Haukam Yeshiva. There are many, there are few Yeshiva that were built there. The Merkaz Biliadi, of course, that's where Rup Shner Zalman was from, a basis of Hasidus, a bastion of Hasidud. Dugli Mura Hasidud. Then Toa, Yirad Elokim, Bemunat Chacham. They taught Yirad Shemayim and Munas believing in the Tzadik, Munas Chachamim, Ben Hamon, Basis Ro. Bezaya Beyam Hatov Mahim. Those were in the good days. I'll be Meyal Duti, but. That was going back. But in my youth, lo nishar kfar zeh mi milchames mitzvah zu. There was nothing left from this milchames mitzvah. That was milchames mitzvah. What's the right way? Our way, your way. Haprushim v'chasidim hechsiku amnam kol echab v'nusach hatzfila shel avoseyim. The, everybody was davening in their own nusach. Avla hatacharut paska. The, the good competition was finished. The yeshiva closed, right? And only the yechidim we're going to their Admorim. Pretty sad. Yeladim Odlamdu Bechadarim, right? The children still learned in Chadarim, and the Bali Kishrun got to, the brighter students got to the beginning of Gemara, but there was no yeshiva for them to open up further, and it was a terrible problem. Harabanim Hayyamin Ador Yashan Omi Bachutz, Mim Komod Hatar Yashay Rechokim Maod. Hanarim hochu menacheda yasher alechaim. Right, the kids learned, but then they went right into Parnasa. Balei merits vakishun yotzel lechapeis lam Parnasa tovot. Russia pnimid people went into further into Russia, right, where uh, uh, stam Jew couldn't go, and they acted like goyim, and they learned from the non-Jewish ways, and they got a, came back with a lot of money, but without tefillin and without sitzes. Those brighter students, the brighter, capable students, upon Arif al Torah, Visimu el Atzkal I guess that wasn't a very pretty picture. Um, back to his parents, just where he was growing up. Back to his parents, this is really fascinating. His older brother, Yoel, he had a brother, Yoel Suratskin, so he had been in Belazhin, I believe in one yeshiva, and at a certain point he was taken to like a military. Um, encampment to work. And they were bothered by that. It says, Of course, the mission of us tells us someone upon, or accepts upon himself the, the yoke of Torah doesn't have to deal with things. And here he fell to the old Malchut. He had to work for the army. And he says, Yo, certainly was Makabal himself old Torah. So what happened? Now listen to what his mother said. This just blows me away. One day, our Yoel will be a Rav, Uman Higbi Yisrael. He's going to be a Rav. Who, he will have to understand his Kehillah. 
And amongst those will be those that hard, tried hard labor. And Yisurim b'machan tzava. And he has to feel this himself. That's the kind of chinuch in the house. My son is in a hard labor army camp. But it's okay. Because that's going to be a preparation for him for where he'll be. I thought that just blew me away. A perception, uh, an outlook, a hashkafa, as such. Listen to this about his father after Kol Nidre. I remember, writes Reb Zalman, after Kol Nidre, Yom Kippur night, the holiest time of the year, my father would go on the bima and he would say in front of the tzibur, Seder Vidu Val He used to say Al Chet. Milach or Mila. He would explain the Al Chet, which they were going to say. And he would explain a little bit. Pardamona de Vidu. He would explain the Vidu. The cave with pain, Ubudvekus. Cave Udvekus. Lono to Bekal Lev Shalonishbar. Everybody was broken with Hirhuri Shuva from that time. I remember as the Kahal would see my father go up to the Bima, many of them would start crying already before he even explained the word. That was the type of people his parents were. Now with all that, listen to how he writes himself about the challenges he faced. So even as a, he was in a, in a house, his father was the rub of the town, his mother was a tremendous woman with tremendous perceptions. But like we said already, as he wrote himself, that that winds were bl- bl- blowing in white Russia. So this is what he writes. Who could have believed, he writes in the Kaktama to one of his farm, the introduction to one of his books, who could have believed that I would make it to learn in the great yeshivas? To learn. Right? How could it be that I made it to yeshiva? That was the times. Someone who was in a rabbinic house, who was a tremendous Balkishra, a genius, and his brother in the yeshiva still that I would make it to learn in Velazhin, as we'll see he learned in Velazhin and Slobodka. Who could have believed it? It was only the Chemla Hashem. He took me from the other uh, side of the river of Yolechotilim Komata Torah. And he put into my heart Avata Torah. And I mowed it from the beginning for all the chesed to save me from Haskalah. And from the danger of wealth and other dangers. That, that surrounded me when I was young. This is what he writes in this in his Mosulayim Limish, but Kidapka Bimneha Kisharon, Vamerita Sher Khanani Hashem, because Hashem gave me a lot of abilities. That's what he writes. That's no it's Kokot. Because I had I had merits, which means I like, uh, really got to things, and I was Kisharon. Therefore, there were tremendous nisyono because he saw the possibilities. I could be a big professor. I could be a big businessman. Again, nothing wrong with being a professor or businessman. But back then, it wasn't like today. It equaled something very, very different so often. So it's a fascinating just a snippet of his youth. On the one hand, he had parents who were really gedolim. But on the other hand, the Ruchod were so strong that he himself saw it as a wondrous thing that he made it to, made it to yeshivas and to become who he could become. Mm-hmm.